Hey guys, how's it going? It's AP Eric. We're gonna check out this interesting little illustrated looking game called Little Mouses Encyclopedia. So this is more of like a family friendly, kid friendly type of game. But I figured I would check it out, share it with you guys, give like a quick little first impression. So let's check it out. This is, play this is playing this on the Xbox, by the way. So let's go ahead and uh, start the game. I do like how the graphics look. It's literally like we're reading a children's book. I mean, check it out. Look at this. I've seen books that look illustrated like this when I was back in elementary school. So I think it's just like a little children's uh, follow along, really. So let's go ahead, pick that up. So the plant or animal will come to life when you press on it. Move around using L. So it's like a point and click. So there we go white grub so it's encyclopedia it's literally teaching you stuff it's like an educational point and click game so this is telling you the white grub is a larva of cockshafer it'll evolve into the cockshafer in four years so look at that and you could play and see what it does by pushing a so you know what i mean it's it's not fortnite but not every game needs to be something that will uh do a gajillion things you could just play something that'll at least let your kids learn stuff look at this common shrew it eats as much as it weighs every day they're kind of cute i'm a little cute mouse i was uh tapula maxima it's amazing how many little creatures and things just live where you're at we got mole crickets so yeah it's basically just a hey point and click learn about it look at it be animated is he coming after me <laughs> he sure as hell was mole's pantry it paralyzes the earthworms by hitting biting them into their nerve center so this is the mole's stash he has all these little all these little uh little grubs and stuff caddis fly Very interesting. So this is the underground. Oh, I'm able to get up. Okay. I didn't think I had an extra route that I could have did. Look at that. We got moths in there. I didn't know moths hide in the ground. A daisy. We got another house fly right here. We got harebells. Napweed. See, so you learn all sorts of different flowers and, and things like that so definitely pretty interesting it's it's literally like a playable encyclopedia i just went down into the ground again julius terrestris so yeah again i know this ain't gonna be everybody's cup of tea but you know what i mean like you could definitely tell the developers did good with the illustrating of this game and they wanted something to be educational at least i know some people don't care for the educational stuff they're kind of like really we want bang bang and shoot shoot look at that the cricket just flew away but you know if you're a parent look etymologist so i just did awake all the insect in the grass in the first chapter if you're a parent and you're looking for something for your kids to uh check out possibly and play this could definitely be a safe bet We've got an earthworm earthworms are creepy actually <laughs> centipede centipedes freak me out can we go down and say hi no we cannot <laughs> and that was the mouse's territory so now that I'm done with this stage, of course, we can go. That's the forest. That's the index. Do I lack two more? Or was that it? Oh, okay. I got an achievement. Go to the forest. Okay. So you can see I'm now in the tree. The cuckoo's eggs. I'm getting achievements like nothing. Holy cow. Use the index to get to a specific location. Nursery web spider. I know a lot of people that don't like spiders. <laughs> oh, so honeybee. 
And the combs are bee larvae, stored honey and pollen. So definitely a good uh good game to get some achievements on. <laughs> you just uh walk along and look at the stuff and learn. Smallest European bird, so we're in Europe. Smallest European bird. European beach. That's what Shady J's mom is. Silver fur. What's this? A tinder fungus. Wow. I didn't know that's what that was called. Eurasian J. I don't see a cub tat on that. Common cuckoo. So, you guys get the idea. There's four different worlds. The pond. So, I got one just for come. Oh, I'm swimming in this one. Wow. It's a water scorpion. A pike. A leech. Wow. Dragonfire larva. So definitely a lot of... Ed Ooh, this is a creepy carp. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, what is this? A water shrew. A reclusive rodent that lives on the banks of clean... Oh, okay. I didn't know there was such thing as water shrews. I guess they just like to be in the water. A catfish. All these creatures would be eating each other. A water spider. Spends its whole life among the plants underwater. Is he like in an air bubble? Frog. Got a duck, a mallard. Maui Mallard. Who's played that Donald Duck game? Reed Bunton. You know what? I think my nieces would love playing this game. Honestly. Hey, look at that. The bird's feeding his kids. Water lily. Mosquito larvae. I hate mosquitoes. <laughs> so yeah i mean this definitely is not the most exciting gameplay but hey you're learning something and to me that means it's not a waste of time at all honestly so yeah little mouse encyclopedia cute quaint Something to take a look at and consider checking out if you have small kids. Maybe they can learn something. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts. I know this ain't everybody's cup of tea. I just kind of wanted to show something off to the parents that want something better for their kids to check out. But thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.